not snag on the safe notch. There's enough clearance there that it didn't. I'll do that again. You watch. See that cleared. If if for some reason the hammer is altered in this area so that the notch doesn't come out as far forward, and let's say it releases right there, then it'll snag the safe notch on the way down and either break the sear or the safe notch. The safe notch is a safety. It has to hold. So if we pull it around. So what they have is a plug that controls how many rounds you could cram in it. So of course nowadays, since it's legal to have one like that, you can cut this off. It screws in. this piece of plastic. Now they must have thought we were really stupid to have this law. But anyway, normally when you have a magazine plug, it'll just look like that part without the threads. I left it on just to show you something interesting. Of course, any guns imported now won't have that feature, thank heavens. If we get another guy like Clinton in, we'll probably have the damn thing back. But right now we can. And you can see here the cutaway of the bolt and the firing pin. Here's the cam that the lever works on to cam or retract the firing pin. is also part of the safety, prevents them from firing until it's locked up. And then we take and punch out the extractor pin. It got it freed up. It didn't want to move because the holes are slightly loose and the cartridge stock can be back and forth a few thousandths of an inch. It was just enough to make it stick, but it, it's okay now. Okay, we'll put the left, the right cartridge stop in. <laughs> I have trouble with this right one and I don't know whether it's my hands are shaped wrong or what. Probably or what. Okay, we got it in place, more or less. And the screw hole seems to line up. Put the screw through. Now, I do it automatically. Have their guns smoothed up for cowboy action shooting, which of course is a very popular thing right now. And let's face it, it's fun. You know how to take the gun apart. You know how it works. You know how to put it back together. For a tune-up, basically, you simply make sure that all the components.